Thank you for standing by, and welcome to the Nitron Gas Adjustment Webcast. During today's webcast, attendees will be in listen-only mode. There will be a Q&A session at the end of today's call. If you have a question during the presentation, you may submit it online by entering it into the QA panel. If you're in full screen view, click the question icon located in the floating toolbar at the lower side of your screen. Simply type a question into the dialog box and click the send button. If you're in the split screen mode, the Q&A panel is already open and is located on the lower right side of your screen. As a reminder, this presentation is being recorded. If you are experiencing technical issues, please contact WebEx Technical Support. Our speaker today is John Kadite, Central Zone Technical Manager. John, please go ahead. Hi, welcome to our webcast today. My name is John. Today we're going to be going over the gas adjustment, the internal gas adjustment on the Nitron machine. We're also going to be talking about our uh, uh, gas module. And uh, for those of you using the tanks, uh, we're just going to talk a minute about, about that as well. So uh, uh, to get started, I'm going to make an adjustment here real quick just to show you the difference. So as these cascades settle out, you should be able to see the difference. The, uh, the adjustment here, the gas adjustment, internal gas adjustment, this isn't on all the machines. This was added later. So if you've got older equipment or some of the original machines, you won't have this in your machine. We do have kits available to, uh, to change these out and, and the tubing also. Uh, this, to adjust the gas, you pull this out and turn it to the right. You'll get more, more gas, more foam in the cup. And if you pull it out and turn it to the left, you'll reduce that foam collar. Some products uh, have more viscosity and, and, and hold the foam better. Some hold the foam less, so then you have different ratios. So to dial this in perfect, right, right where you want it, uh, you, can, you can make the adjustments here. Once you have this set, it's gonna stay the same. You don't need to adjust this daily or check on it or anything like that. Um, if, when you connect a Nitron machine, if you happen to have trouble um, getting foam, or, or if you're not getting the foam, you want to first take the nozzle off. And check this diffuser in here. If this diffuser gets clogged or dirty, then it's going it's to knock your foam down. You won't get any foam. So before you go making any adjustments or, or take any drastic measures, first take this off and make sure this is really spotless clean and then put it back in. And then go make your adjustments after that. That's always the first step, to, uh, the first thing to make the foam uh, go away. So um, our Nitron gas module, if you hook this up to the machine, it's just got one tube here that connects right to the gas port on the back of the machine. This does have uh, a preventative maintenance schedule of one year. And basically all you're going to do is replace these filters right here. These uh, have quick connects right here. Quick next at the bottom, you're just going to take these out and put the new ones in. That's all there is to that. It's very easy. So the legs are adjustable here to be able to slide the, the gas module underneath the machine. You could also put it under counter if you need to. If you're using the tanks, uh, we recommend that you set the pressure to between 120 and 125 pounds. Uh, internally, we reduce that pressure. So as long as we have it higher than, than we're reducing it here, then, then that's okay. Uh, these adjust differently depending on which model you have. This particular one, you take this nut off right here and it's got an Allen bolt inside here. That's how you make your adjustments. Again, clockwise it increases your pressure, counterclockwise decreases the pressure. If you happen to connect uh, one of these machines to a place that has extremely high water pressure, you can turn the water pressure down right here. Uh, we don't recommend you, you mess with this unless there is a problem with the, with the location that you're putting this in. I've had a couple instances where the water pressure in the building is just so high that the, the, the gas couldn't get into, into the water. So I had to turn this down just a little bit. Do quarter, quarter turn increments on this. 
and probably quarter turn increments on this as well. Um, so you see as this is settling out here, this, this, uh, this collar here is slightly larger than this collar here because after I drew this one, I turned this pressure up and then so I get more collar. If I turn it up more, that collar is going to end up higher uh, or deeper. So um, I think that's about it. So if we're going to open it up to questions uh, here in just a minute. Um, as you're going through this process or if you, you forget which way to turn the knob or anything like that, feel free to call our technical services department. We're going to put the number up on the screen. It's 1-800-286-6345. Uh, we have after hour service and weekend service available too, so feel free to give us a call and we'll walk you through, right through all these adjustments here. So uh, we'll go ahead and open up for questions.